Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tyler and today I want to talk about why I got my CCNA. And strangely enough, it's not because I wanted to be a network engineer or network architect. It's, it's not that I don't like networking, I do enjoy it, but that's not, I guess, the core reason I got my CCNA. So let's talk about it. Why did I read almost 1500 pages of textbooks, spend countless hours on labs and countless hours on Jeremy's IT lab videos if I don't wanna, I guess, go further into networking in terms of jobs that is. I will probably learn more networking later on. But before we go on to that, I do wanna give a special thank you to Agent757 on YouTube because he left a comment that prompted this video. He asked, what did you do with your CCNA after you got it? And it kind of made me think, well, what, what did I do? What did I use it for? And then I kept thinking and I'm like, why did I get it? If I don't want to be a network architect, why did I go get my CCNA? Uh, obviously, you all have to go further up the Cisco track to be a network architect, but you get the idea. So the reason I got my CCNA was I wanted a very strong foundation to build the rest of my education off of. I talked to a lot of people in the tech industry, especially when I was first starting out, even before I got my Network Plus, and a lot of people told me the same thing. They say, learn networking, whether you want to go into cloud or security or any of these other little, I guess, sectors, it will always be helpful to know networking. And I took that advice and I said, okay, we're gonna get my Network Plus. And then following that, I was like, we're gonna get my CCNA as well because it's a very a strong base level of knowledge of networking. You know how traffic flows through a network, how it reaches the internet, how it's routed, and all of that fun stuff. So the reason I got my CCNA was for a strong foundation what did I do after I got my CCNA? So after I got my CCNA, I had a choice to make. I was either going to do cloud certifications or security certifications. And the reason I picked cloud and security is because those are my favorite subjects to study. I've gotten to do a lot of work with the InfoSec teams at my job, and I really enjoy that work. I love the analyst stuff, looking through logs and Splunk and all of those fun tools. And then I also love cloud. I've really started to enjoy building things in cloud, building these cool architectures and these big projects and really having something to show after you're done with your labs. I think it's super cool. So I knew I wanted to do one of the tracks and the one I ended up going with was cloud. After I got my CCNA, I, was, I went and got my AWS cloud practitioner and the reason I picked to do, I guess the reason I picked cloud certifications first over InfoSec certifications, because I will do both, was I figured that if I go down the cloud path and I get my cloud practitioner and then my solutions architect, and I end up maybe not liking cloud as much as I thought I would, those skills transfer over to security very, very strongly. And I'm not saying that security doesn't transfer to cloud as much, but I think it transfers better from cloud to security than security to cloud. It's very close. I'm not saying you can't go into cloud if you get security certs, but that is the choice I made. And I actually figured out I really like cloud as well. So I guess that's what I did after. I just used it as a great diving point to jump in the cloud and I can say with a strong degree of confidence that in both my cybersecurity studies and my cloud studies it has been super super helpful because when I'm building things in AWS or I'm studying AWS and I have to learn what subnets and VPCs and ACLs and load balancers and all of this stuff is Already knowing what subnets and VLANs and all the things you learn in the CCNA, I didn't have to worry about learning the core concept of a VPC in AWS. I just got to focus on 
let's build it and let's figure out the use case. So I can say it's been super helpful in cloud and then for security, it's also been super helpful as well because when I'm at work and I'm digging through these spl um, Splunk logs and I'm building Splunk queries and I'm building Exonius queries and Qualys que queries, that's a lot of queues. It's really helpful to know how networks are divided. So you can filter down that data and then when you get the data, you know what you're looking at. So I guess after I got my CCNA, what I did with it as I used it to, I guess, work towards my other certifications. Not, I, I guess not the traditional thing to do, but it's the path I chose and it's been, I mean, pretty awesome so far. I don't regret a single second I spend studying for this exam. And if you're thinking about it, if you're kind of on the edge, it is totally worth it. It's, it is just such an awesome core concept of IT. I absolutely worth it. Just, just do it. If, if you're just starting, I have another video on what I used to prepare for my CCNA. So go watch that after you're done. That is about all I have for you guys today. I do appreciate you watching. If you do have video suggestions or questions or comments or concerns, or you just got a new certification, drop them down below. I read every single comment and I love seeing people's new certifications. I love hearing those updates. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week.